Another little tip is to have some scrap paper. This is scrap watercolour paper. I tend to buy my watercolour paper in large blocks, so at least I can cut them down to size and the size I wish to use for the day or for the week, whichever it's going to be. Um, so at least this way you can test out the paint you've got. So I'll just show you that. So all I would do, if I use a little bit of um, burnt umber, this gives you an idea on strength, so you can test it out first before you put it onto the paper. And if you use a clean brush, you can just dampen this down at the edge, and you can see then the variation of tones within that burnt umber before you apply it onto the paper. See what I mean there? So that's what I would use a scrap paper for, just for testing. The good thing as well is that once you put one layer on, you know that once this is dry, it's not quite dry yet, but I'll just show you anyway. But the second layer on, it's going to be darker. The same paint every time. The third layer, once it's dry, will be darker again. So using the same paint, which is this burnt under here, this one, is that um, even though it's one thickness of colour, every time you put that layer on, it will get darker and darker. For example, this is dry, this area here. So I can put a layer on there, and it's even darker, as you can see, even though it's the same paint. Okay, so having a scrap piece of paper before you go and play onto the painting you're working on is well worth the effort because you then you can test out colours before you put it onto your painting. Because the problem is, if I put the wrong colour on here initially, watercolour is not that forgiving and it's not easy to get it off. In fact, you can't always get the paint off. So, using scrap paper, watercolour paper that is, is well worth uh, doing. So, always save your little scraps.